Hey guys, this is Lego Master 99 again today, and today I want to show you guys um, a new version of the DRC HLLC project uploader that I have been working on for a little while. And no, this is not the only reason why I have been gone for such a long time, but I just wanted to show this to you guys because I think it is a pretty monumental change versus the old uploader. So yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so I am here in the Redstone Computer version 4.0 world, and if you guys may recall from the original compiler showcase video with the uploader, um, you may recall that the uploading, essentially what it did is that in the version 1.0 of the uploader, essentially what it did is that it just copy and pasted um, slash tp commands and slash setblock commands and slash fill commands if you're using the fast uploading methods. And while um, it worked and everything, um, it was very clunky and it took a very long time to upload, especially considering we, since we have 63 lines of code here per, per core, and we have four cores that we can manipulate code on here. So um, with the release of Minecraft version 1.13, there was finally another way to implement um, uploading that I thought would be monumentally better in every single way. Now you guys may have guessed this um, either by the video description or just by the, the newest version um, features in Minecraft 1.13. And as you can see, I'm running 1.13.2 right now, the latest revision of 1.13. And um, that is data packs, yes. So this new version of the uploader that I have developed now supports data packs and that is revolutionary. So um, I have the DRC HLL uploader here, and you can find this on the download section of the Bitbucket repository for this project. And um, I will also put a link to this in the description as well. So here we have the uploader program. And if we look here, um, it looks pretty much identical to the um, version 1.0 of the um, DRC HLL uploader, except now instead of version 1.0, it says version 1.1. And um, I want to show this to you guys to show really how powerful this can be. All right, so to demo this new uploader program here, um, I have the program binary for the RC um, Fibonacci program for showcase for the Redstone Computer 4.0 from the original compiler showcase video. And if you don't know what this program binary file is, if you don't know what any of this is, um, please make sure to check out my other videos on this channel that explain this project and all of these other things, <clears throat> and then you'll be caught up. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna go ahead and input this program binary file here, and I'm going to specify the Redstone Computer 4.0 and turn on the data pack um, uploading method. And now if we go ahead and start this upload, as you can see, there is no longer a progress bar as in the previous video when I showcased the version 1.0 of the uploader. And instead, we have data packs. And that finished very quickly. It, was, it didn't even take any time at all. And if you have a keen eye and you noticed, a new folder popped up on my desktop right here. So um, the data pack generation has finished already. So we can go ahead and exit the, uh, the uploader program out. And with a data pack, um, the data pack supported in the version 1.1 of the DRC HLL uploader, obviously it creates data packs. And um, that's what this folder is here. And if we look here, it essentially has everything that um, a data pack would have. And it is a fully working data pack for your program to be uploaded onto any target computer, um, like the Redstone Computer 4.0 as an example. All right, so now that this data pack has been generated, I'm gonna show you guys really quickly how to install it and use it. Um, there will be a more detailed video um, explaining all of the options and stuff you can use with the uploader and explaining how to use it in general since I just basically breezed through all of it. Um, but yeah, so basically we're going to go ahead and install this data pack now um, in our saves folder. And I have the um, target computer 4.0 here and I was doing some uploader testing. That's why it says uploader debug. Then you want to put this in the data packs folder. So if we just drag this in, um, that is all you need to do essentially for installation. And now <clears throat> you don't even need to restart your Minecraft. So once you've dragged that folder into there, what we can do is that we run the slash reload command. And once it reloads, it gives us this message here that it's loaded the DRC HLLC uploader data pack for the program. 
and then this is the name of the program, and this is the target ID, which is two, so this is the second redstone computer, and core one. So if we take a look so far at core one on the redstone computer 4.0, we can see that is that it is completely clean. There is um, no code written in this core at all, just to show that I'm not spoofing it or anything. And yeah, so I will now show you guys how to actually run the data pack. Okay, so this is pretty simple actually. What we're going to need to do is that we're going to need to bring out, out of all things, a cow spawn egg. Um, yeah, so um, I want you to watch carefully this, the program memory here when I right click and spawn this cow. If I spawn this cow, oh. boom. I don't know if you saw that, but now our entire program has been uploaded to core one of the Redstone computer 4.0. Now, I don't even know if you guys saw that or not because it happened so quickly like that. And um, this is, in my opinion, truly revolutionary for the um, DRC HLLC project and my Redstone computers and everything because essentially it now guarantees 100% program integrity when uploading the programs. Um, and that was one of the biggest flaws of the old uploader method um, with the version 1.0 of the uploader because every single time a command was manually typed into our chat bar here, there was a chance that there would be some sort of latency or a, a key was missed for some reason and then the entire program would be corrupted because one or two bits were missed in the program because as we know with this redstone with these redstone computers every single bit matters and just with not not just with redstone computers but regular computers in general every single bit matters because it's what makes up the program code and another huge benefit of the new uploader the new data pack uploading system that i just showcased is the speed. Um, I don't know about you, but that took less than a second. That was instantaneous, essentially. Um, and I know some people want to say technically it took like, you know, 20 milliseconds, blah, 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 blah. But to the regular person, it, it was instant. It was instantaneous. And that saves huge amounts of time compared to waiting around 5, 10, 15 minutes, potentially, just to upload a small program like this. And this program is, I think, 12 lines of code long. So yeah, it saves huge amounts of time and this um, update of the uploader essentially enables you to realistically program actual programs using the Arcus language for these Redstone computers because now we can do um, realistic debugging and updating of the program code without waiting 20 or 30 minutes every single time to update the, um, the compiled code whenever you make a change when you're debugging. And yeah, now I just want to show you guys this program running in action just to show that uh, this actually works. All right, yeah, so the program that I uh, uploaded, if you guys missed it, was the Rise to Computer Fibonacci program for a showcase from the original compiler showcase video. And um, we uploaded it to Core 1, so that's toggled, and then we have the speed set here. So if we just go ahead and turn on the computer, um, it's going to start lagging a bit, but the program is going to start to run, and it will start to execute the Fibonacci sequence, which you guys will see here. All right, so as we can see, the first um, output of the Fibonacci sequence has appeared on the decimal display here, the first one. And that's just a promising you know, little signal that this program actually does what it says on the tin, which is to execute the Fibonacci sequence. And now if we wait here for another few seconds, we should see um, the two come up, which is the next um, number in the Fibonacci sequence. And just like that, there is our two. And now I will just let this run for a little longer just so that um, you guys can see the program run for a majority of the time. Since, I mean, you guys already know what this program does since I've showed it before, but I just want to show the program actually executing in its entirety, or at least most of the program. All right, so as we just saw there, this um, the Redstone Computer 4.0 just ran the Fibonacci sequence program 
most of the way through. Um, I stopped it before it finished its execution, but it would have completed ex its execution all the way through. And um, that was just to show you guys the capabilities of the new DRC HLL uploader because um, as we just saw, the uploading process was instantaneous like that. And I can now realistically, like I stated earlier, debug programs in an actual reasonable time frame and then write and develop code for these redstone computers, which was the original goal of the entire project in the first case. And yeah, so this was just a very quick showcase video. And um, I will be releasing a video in the future ex um, fully explaining everything with the uploader and all of, all of its features and stuff. And there's a couple more features, but this is the most important one, in my opinion, of the ver of version 1.1 of the uploader. And um, I will say, though, that there is a wiki on the Bitbucket repository that already explains every little nook and cranny of um, the uploader program, as well as the compiler um, the version 1.5a alpha um, at the time of recording this video. Um, there's a bunch of write-ups that I wrote up um, explaining how to use those programs, but I will create videos in the future explaining how those things work. And um, yeah, thank you so much for your guys' support. More stuff will be coming out very soon. I've been very busy lately. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.